What's up, guys? Come here, Bonnie. Come here. I'm waiting for my rice to get done cooking so I can assemble my taco bowls. And I thought, I have 25% battery left. So here we go. Let's see how long it lasts me. 22%, excuse me. But anyways, you guys, I wanted to talk about something really quickly that just kind of came to mind. Um, and that is what you focus on. And it's different than what you're thinking probably. Hey, Emily girl, what's up? Um, when I say that, like when I say what you focus on, I, what I mean is like the jokes that you're cracking, the comments that you're making, the things that you're talking about with you know, the person that you pass by at the store or your friend or the person at lunch, you know, at work, like those types of things. Like whether you realize it or not, you're giving energy to each one of those interactions and whatever that thing may be. Like I saw, I, I shared this thing earlier um, about like how everybody's poking fun at people who are like super excited about fall. And like, granted, I like fall and I like pumpkin spice, but like, I'm not over here throwing like a party about it. I got, it's just, it is what it is. But it, I've just seen nothing but people like talking shit, right? And being like, oh man, you know, everybody's talking about fall or hey, this other person did this. And they're, it, it just, that's just one example. But like, what popped into my head when I was thinking about that, I was like, I wonder if people realize like how much of a waste of energy that is. Like, what are you spending your time and attention on that for? Um, it may not seem like a big deal to you, but it is a big deal because every interaction that you have with anyone, the person at Walgreens, the person at the grocery store, the person at the gas station, um, the person that you buy your coffee from, like every one of those interactions, you have an opportunity to make a positive thing, right? You have the opportunity to lighten that situation or folk or be able to make that better so if that's what you're focusing on then a lot of the shit that grows into this big whole monster of like it's been such a bad day everyone's been an asshole blah 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 a lot of that shit can be avoided if what you're focusing on isn't negative shit like that's where it gets twisted up and people are like well i just think it's funny i'm like but i don't really think that you think it's funny like a lot of times we focus on this negative negative stuff because it's like we're keeping up with the Joneses or we're like trying to make conversation because we really don't know what else to say. But I'd be honest, like it's better to say nothing than it is to say something that's negative or poking fun at somebody or that's like focusing on something that's dark or not positive or whatever it might be. Do I mean that you should ignore everything bad that's happening? Absolutely not. Do I mean that you should, um, you know, act like everything's peachy all the time? No, because life happens and not everything's perfect. But be mindful of what you're choosing to focus on, what you're choosing to talk about, what you're choosing to let your thoughts go to every single time that you're silent in the car or you get in the shower. Like, I don't know about you, but like driving and in the shower and cooking are like the three places that my mind like spirals, like all the things. I think of all the things, you know? Um, so be mindful of that because... Whether you realize it or not, you are focusing on those things. You are putting energy and thought and um, giving that, whatever it is, power. So ask yourself this question tomorrow or the rest of the day today. Like, what are you giving power to? Like, what are you focusing on? If you want to take that to a place of, like, being in control of your own mood, your own power, your own thoughts, like, you have control over where that goes, right? But if you want to take it to a level of the law of attraction... Um, whatever you're focusing on expands. I mean, we all know that whether you believe in the law of attraction or not, correct me if I'm wrong, but if all you're doing is thinking about how terrible your life is and how, you know, shitty this is and how it's a bad day and everybody sucks and like that's all you're thinking about, that's what amplifies within you. You are fueling that thing. So if you choose to focus on something different with your thoughts, your energy, your conversation, then you can choose to fuel something that's good, that feels good, that's serving you, that's serving other people. Does this make sense, you guys? Um, I don't know, it just popped into my head. You know, I, there was this other meme that I saw the other day that was like, are you really having a bad day or did you just allow like your thoughts to go sideways 
um, and then go like haywire for two hours that then brought you into a shitty mood and had all the focus go there. Like you let your thoughts run wild and you weren't in control of what you were thinking and doing. And that's what created this shit day. Like, so think about that. You know what I mean? Like if you're really quick to always say things like, and you guys have heard me say this before, like I hate when people are like, I'm so busy. I'm like, okay, like, do you want a cookie? Like, congratulations. Um, because people think that busy is a badge of honor and it's just ridiculous, but like, it's a state of mind. It's an excuse a lot of times instead of being present and saying what you really are because you don't even really know what that is because you're not giving it any time and attention. Then <laughs> if you were just more present and real with what you were saying to people, everything shifts in how your day flows and what you're focusing on and how all of your interactions in general with everybody go, it changes based upon what you're choosing to focus on. Um, I purposefully have been recently going to the flower shop separately than the grocery store. Like I used to always purchase my groceries through an app. Um, and I thought it was like this super efficient thing to do and it is efficient. Don't get me wrong And it does save you a lot of money because you're not buying shit You don't need because you're just it, They're bringing you what's on the app, right? But then I realized that I, I, I needed more I needed to be out a little bit more than I had been being out so I made a point to go to the flower shop and create conversation with the one behind the counter um, take my time browsing the store with all their cute little stuff like then I talked to the lady who actually made the bouquet of flowers and we had this big long conversation and I left there feeling really good about myself and feeling really happy because it was a great interaction with that person. Same thing when I go to the grocery store, like when if I walk in that I'm going to make someone smile or I'm going to interact with somebody in a positive, you know, fashion and that ten, that's what I create. So if that's where your mind is, your intention and your vibration that you choose to be at is so powerful and we tend to just not recognize that we just take whatever the hell's thrown at us and we're like well that person was an asshole yeah but were you not an asshole because I'll tell you what I don't have a lot of like jerky interactions I don't have a whole lot of interactions where people are mean it sure it happens from time to time but most of the time I walk in I'm vibing on a really high level I'm protruding love and light and happiness and I'm like listen like I want you to smile and I'm gonna be super kind to you whether you're kind to me or not and that's just what I choose to do right that's what I choose to focus on I don't engage in lower vibrational conversations where people are bitching and moaning and complaining and talking trash like I don't engage in that and that's what I wanted to make the point here. And I think I could keep talking about this for hours. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it short. But that's the part. That's the part. Like what you choose to focus on and what you choose to engage in is what you're fueling and what you'll see more of in your day and in your life. So keep that in mind. Like I said, tomorrow when you go into your day, stay present. Keep that in mind and see what you can shift in the way that you're interacting and in what you're choosing to focus on. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys had a great Wednesday. I did. I went and got my hair done. I'm feeling way like myself today. It's exciting. We got some more of that vibrant, like reddish violet going on. So back to normal for me. Um, but I hope you had a great day. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you think that others could benefit from hearing this, please share it. I appreciate every time that you guys do that. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.